Okay, down here. Well, I was messing around with the settings. I've set it on, uh, still has something up there. Uh, this is a uh, <coughs> camera FV5 Lite, and I'm testing it again with my Bluetooth headset. Had it on my tripod so that I could uh, shoot myself from a further distance. And uh, it wouldn't, it quit making video, and I had to go back in and change my settings. I had to set the the bit rates and stuff recommended by YouTube as close as I could because that's what I wanted YouTube videos, you know. And uh yeah, it went forty eight kilohertz, it's still on that. And uh I don't know why they have it all separated, but oh okay. Mono one twenty eight kilo kilobits per second. Oh and the other thing was uh I'm I th I don't know if it's mono or stereo, but that doesn't really matter too much, you know. It's just a mic input but uh um, the format, where is it? I don't know, but any, uh, any, oh, the audio codec. There it is, audio codec A, AAC LC. Oh, that is an uh, audio input meter, I see it, that's cool. Um, anyway, there's a thing on the screen. It can beep. It makes a high pitched squeak in, when it's not working. So I thought that was telling you it was recording. I was telling you you had a problem. Oh, okay. It says, it's a, well, that's Bluetooth. Okay, Bluetooth speaker, A E L A W B L. So yeah, I changed it. Uh, I set it back to the default. Still wouldn't work. And then uh, I was I was just hitting stuff kind of wildly, so furiously or whatever, just kind of getting aggravated with it. So. I don't remember exactly what I did, but I got it all back to pretty much the default, except for its recording that Bluetooth speaker. At least on Bluetooth. Well, yeah, I guess since that signal's up there. You can't do any more than 720p, because it's uh, the free version of this app. The input's very low. Oh, there we go. Hey, the input. Oh, it didn't jump up. It jumped up for some reason, just because I was, I don't know what I did. But, um... I like having the audio input, but there's something, I don't know why it's doing it, but I can hear a beep every 10 or 20 seconds in my ear through my headset. I don't like that. And uh, I think it's my battery. I have a, I'll see if it gets any louder if I move it. No, it doesn't get any louder. I was moving it a little bit. But uh, let me put this back up on the tripod here like I wanted to. Way I know, I, I know it was the Bluetooth oh, headset that was recording a while ago because the sound was terrible and had a high pitched noise, background noise in it. But I mean, it's a battery, it's not plugged into an AC adapter or anything, and that's the kind of noise you might expect it to sound like. But this battery, uh, Duracell, you know, like emergency battery or phone, kind of gives you a, can give you a quick charge or just you can just run your phone on it or your Bluetooth headset. And since my uh, Bluetooth had said it was a free one given to me that didn't, it actually didn't work until I plugged this into it, and then it did work. Um, it um, stuff on my screen's happening. I was using TeamViewer to uh, remote control the phone, and then it uh, quit working, and that disconnected. So I think the phone disconnected me or something. But anyway. Um, yeah, it's still green in there, so it's not running lower. I, I'm trying to figure out why it's beeping in my ear. That's absolutely crazy. That I couldn't stand. I can't, couldn't stand that for very long. It's not real loud, but it's very irritating. And uh, that's of course it's not working, and it's asleep or something. I'm trying the volume on the thing. Actually, I'm probably turning it down because it's upside down. Because that's the only way I can hang it with it plugged in here like this. So, um, I don't think that has anything to do with the volume, just the listening volume, I believe, not the, uh, actually, I might want the volume down with that beep. Maybe that beep was telling me that I had the volume all the way down, because I had turned it, tried to turn it all the way up a while ago, and the first time I was recording it, it wasn't doing that. Let me look at it here. It's, uh, yeah, it's got the little blue light blinking. Not off or anything. So um, I don't think. No, it's still beeping at me. I don't think this thing would 
I've got a feeling it wouldn't be any good for recording videos. <clears throat> I don't think it's very good quality, and, and I think the Bluetooth transfer of audio just, you know, for this one especially, takes down the quality. It's an older model. Um, the newer, yeah, the beacons really. The uh, newer models, uh, well, I have a, I bought my mom a Bluetooth speaker and I had a, for her TV, and it, you know, I had to buy her a transmitter to plug into the TV audio circuit, and then the speaker receives it. It works really well, and I've got the newer model of the, I forgot which version of Bluetooth. I don't think it was 4, they got 4.0 now, now, but I think it was 3. Point whatever. But it has low latency, you know, which is a low delay in the signal. Uh, and so, the, you know, she, you don't have any trouble with, the, like, the mouth moving and then the sound coming out of the speaker. So if I'd have bought one of the cheaper ones at the time, I would have, this one wasn't actually a good deal. It was 30, well, it was $35 for that speaker. It's a little bit speaker about that big, so I guess it's not exactly cheap for something that tiny. But, <clears throat> but as wireless stuff goes, that was a pretty good deal. This beacon, I don't know. I'm worried that it's telling me that something's not working. Well, I saw a signal on the phone a minute ago, though. So let me see if I can connect with my team viewer again. I don't know if it'll let me or not. Yeah, couldn't be established. I, I, for some reason, it completely disconnected. So now I can't uh, can't connect it without answering on the phone saying, yes, I want to connect. So uh, I'll have to grab the phone to turn it off, and I can't stand this beeping in my ear any longer, so I can take it off, but then, of course, you wouldn't hear me talking. So uh, there's the, my last test three. first one was just with my built-in camera mic, which, you know, they have a good sound. You're just, uh, you can't get far from the phone at all. And... Uh, so it's an interesting app, and at least I found out that I can do Bluetooth recording, you know, in my, on a camera app on my phone. But uh, this one is not fully functional unless you pay their fee. It doesn't, I guess if that's it, I guess it's not real expensive at least, but uh, I'm going to use an open camera, and I really like the app, but I, I guess it won't do Bluetooth. I thought it would. It says external mic is present, but I guess that means wired. And... Um, I didn't actually go back to their website and read what, you know, specifically. I need to do that. I go to their Google Play page like this here and see if it says anything one way or the other about Bluetooth. But uh, open camera, I would definitely, you know, want I like that up a lot. And it lets me do anything I want with it. I definitely want to pay them <coughs> rather than people to make limited functionality stuff just for advertisement purposes. So, um... Open cameras, open source app. You know. So anyway, and uh, most of these apps are built on somebody's open source work too. On top of that, so I found one that is, made it sound like it was, you know, really fantastic, and all it was was an older version of open cameras. So I thought I was when I was looking at this one, I thought, is this that one again? And I just forgot, you know. But I don't think it is. But anyway, uh, it's done. And there's my test. Um, we'll see how. Her audio came out on this one. All right, but uh, got to touch it right, or it'll just focus instead of turning off. Uh, I've got rubber bands holding my camera on my cassette case that I mounted on my tripod, and I can't quite get my finger to the right spot. Because I don't know this app is different. I mean, I don't have any trouble with this phone normally, but everything I've done on this phone it takes two or three tries to. Get the touch sense to work on this on this particular app. This, not, not not the phone in general. 